The AMC Rebel is known as the Rambler Rebel, produced by American Motor Company or AMC from 1967 to 1970. It replaced the Rambler Classic and was then replaced by the similar AMC Matador for the 71 model year. The Rebel was positioned as the high volume seller. It was available in several specialty models that included limited station wagons for special trim and luxury equipment, but only in certain areas. The Rebel name was introduced in 1957 with a big V8 engine. This was the first hint that muscle cars would be in the company's future. From 1967 to 1970, the Rebel was available in a six-passenger four-door sedan, two-door hardtop, and a four-door station wagon with an optional third-row seat. In addition, a two-door sedan with thin B-pillar and flip-out rear side windows was available in 1967. A convertible was offered in 67 and 68. The four-door sedan, station wagon, and two-door hardtop were only available in base and SSD trim. The AMC was moving the Rebel line more to a family-oriented direction. Rebels originally came from the base 550 and deluxe 770 models, with the high-line SSD available only at the two-door hardtop. But in 69, they did away with the 550 and 770 models. The wood trim on this Rebel was added later by one of the owners. While it's not an original option on the 69 Rebel, it does make this rare car even more unique and one of a kind. Engines offered were a 290 V8 and a 343 V8, but the standard motor was a 390 V8. It came with special heads, valve train, cam, as well as a redesigned intake and exhaust. This was the most powerful in any AMC vehicle while retaining the features required for normal street operations, as well as the components to assure outstanding performance. The 1969 AMC Rebel had one of the best commercials airing on TV, known as Aunt Martha's Fuddy Duddy Type Cars. AMC wanted to be jazzy. It showed its cars being torture tested by student drivers. This car has been through two high or power tours. In the power tours, the cars must drive a specific route through different locations. The first power tour was in 1995 from Ohio to California. Only seven people completed the entire drive. It is a six to eight day event taking place in May or June. I wish I had seen this rare car myself. Did you like this video? Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell so you get notified whenever I post cool videos. Then you'll be able to see a bunch of cool interviews with a bunch of cool people. Make sure that you follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Conan Cars. I also have t-shirts and stickers. And until then, see you next time.